That was Neville Southall, showing us just how great a goalkeeper he is. He makes saves like that week in, week out, which makes him not only one of the best keepers in the world, but one of the most consistent. What does he put it down to? Well, apart from having a great natural ability, he puts it down to hard work, dedication and a continual goalkeeping training program. Now, we all can't be a Neville Southall, but any goalkeeper at any level, any age, male or female, can improve with the right sort of training, coaching and dedication. That's it. Be a bit looser. Go on. Off you go. We're doing 12. Well done, John. That's it. You've got the, you got the right technique. Now we need to speed you up a bit. So rowing action, like you see him on the machines. A professional goalkeeping coach is a rarity, even at professional clubs. So we invite you to watch a group of eager goalkeepers of different ages and standards and strengths being put through their paces by me, Peter Bernetti, formerly of Chelsea and England. That's it. I have been a professional coach for the past 11 years, involved both with Neville here at Everton and the England national team for the past three years. I truly believe that every goalkeeper can improve their skills and together with Neville, helped by a diverse group of like-minded footballers, have designed a series of exercise and drills guaranteed to bring out the best in you. This video is not designed to be an A to Z of goalkeeping, or indeed a video teaching you the basics of how to be a keeper, more a combination of special work routines involving the many aspects of goalkeeping. Notice not banging the ball on the ground either. I am being asked constantly by managers, coaches, sports masters, parents and keepers, both professional and amateur, what sort of specialist training there is for keepers. I feel the best way to answer this question is to invite you to be a fly on the wall at our specialist session. Work with us on the various skills we practice and prove to yourself how good you can be as a number one. It is very important before we start doing any work to get ourselves warmed up. In fact, it's essential that we warm ourselves up correctly before we do any handling, any diving whatsoever. And these little warm-up exercises are warming up the groins, the thighs, the calves, the back, the shoulders, the arms, and also a little bit of running to get the circulation going. We can't start going and diving around if our body's not warmed up and loose. Here we have a little bit of running, a little bit of fun at the same time. Try and make light of the training. It's much more enjoyable. And after all, that's what we want it to be as well, enjoyable. This exercise here is for the hamstrings. There are various ones on each exercise. Do the one which is more suitable to yourself. And here's one for the groins. Gary, just starting here. Staying on your toes. Forward. Just roll it forward. Now, after all the warm-up exercises, we go straight into handling the ball. The more we practice with the ball, obviously the more confident we're going to be. So this is just a ball each, bouncing it around, throwing one or two up in the air, just getting used to handling it. After all, goalkeeping is all about playing with the ball and making sure we are confident with it, handling it correctly. And this is just getting used to it. And just walk, just walk around, bouncing the ball again, trying to get familiar with the ball all the time. Prove your handling. OK, let's go into a little jog again, just bouncing the ball, just one more minute. Forward, just roll it forward, down you and go. And now one or two Get little out. exercises, rolling the ball on the ground for a little diving. And then one or two balls up in the air for stretching. Now we're going to go into threes. Jace, you go with Neville and Digger, you go in a three there. And the other three go together there. Two balls between the three. You're going to be serving one goalkeeper. You three, just not sure of this. Just watch what these three are doing here. 
Now we're starting to work in groups. Bit of handling, no pressure, just straightforward handling, right technique, right handling, a bit of movement. Well done, well done. Here we are, making sure we've got the right stance, body behind the ball as well as the hands, and just concentrate on your handling. Well done. Well done. Well done, John, that's good. 260. Okay, get another ball there. Just keep him going there, Trace. Okay, Gary, from you. And hold it there. And okay, off you go in the last section there. Okay, be on your toes, Gary, be on your toes. Let's be a bit mobile. Just throw it back to the server. Thanks, Dickie. That's it, well done. Well done, Gary. Don't try and snatch them. Try and relax with your hands. Don't snatch at them. Let it ball come into you. Nice. Caress the ball. Don't snatch at it. Well done, Digger. Caress it. I wish you won these days. Well done. Okay, yeah. make sure the service is quite high here, Gary. And same with you, Trace, when you're throwing that side. Here we are, just getting a few stretching exercises, high balls, side to side, making sure our timing is right. And at the same time, with all these drills, it's so important to give the right service. Well done, John. Leap into the ball. If the service is poor on anything we do, then the goalkeeping will be poor. Timing is important here, getting the ball at the highest point. He's having to use his feet, short steps. Come and meet it, John. Well done. Oh, Tell him how many six. he's done. Let him know how many he's done so he's not going on forever. And here again, stretching, catching the ball, getting good hands on it. Are you okay with 10? You just do half a dozen when you do it, okay? It's important doing these, what I call passive exercises, to warm up with because as we progress, the exercises are getting harder and harder and we'll be putting under a bit of pressure. Come on. Across what would be your goal, put it down. Well done, Digger. Good height. Come on, seventh here. Come on. Well done, Tracy. Bring it down when you've got it up there. Eight, come on. Try and throw it side to side. Says you're going to come on. start to come onto the board. That's one on the ace. Take off on one. Right. All the... If you drop a ball in there, let's get after it quick. OK, we're just going round to his right. So it's on the volley, right. aren't we? Off you go, Neville. Now here we have a circle. We're working Neville. A bit more mobility now. We're starting to move around the circle, concentrating on your hands, concentrating on your footwork. And don't forget, all the time we're doing these exercises, let's encourage the man in the middle there. He needs motivation, he needs encouragement, at whatever level we're doing it. Yes, if we have to go to ground, then we go to ground. Making sure we're getting the body behind the ball all the time. Last one. Oh! <laughs> oh, even the goalkeepers can make mistakes like that. Put it behind you, get up and start again. Here we have a variation on the handling. A bit more mobility. Man in the middle, being served, turning quick. Good hands, sharpness. And hold it there. OK. Off you go, guys. OK, good footwork. Make sure, hold it, stop again. Try and not cross your hands there. Try and have your hands at the side. Here again, note. Correct service. We're not trying to extend the goalkeeper too much here, we're just warming him up. Oh, I can't believe that thing. Cheers, mate, colleague. Footwork is important there. You're getting it turn, quick turn, because in football, in goalkeeping, we are always on our feet, we're always moving quick. So it was never there. He's solid. He's behind the ball all the time. He's moving his feet. He's got to move there. If the ball suddenly goes there, don't try and stretch out there. Ride it. Go with it. You've got to dive. You've got to commit yourself there. So you've got to go full, full width with the ball. OK? Just have a breather, guys. I'm not trying to kill you off. But when we do things, we do it with explosion. Now here we're into some side diving, close in side diving okay. that is, where the keeper's Three. up and down, Three. just throwing it back. Four. Making sure, relevant Five. point, keeping the ball in front of the body line. 
So many youngsters seem to dive and go backwards where they lose their shape and coordination. Oh, he's got to be stationary. In other words, if you can serve me, Tracy, there, OK, to the right. OK, throw back and come back again. So you're ready to go again there. The more we're coordinated in these exercises, the quicker we can get up to our feet in case we've knocked the ball out and we're facing the second shot. OK, here again, if you want to lessen the numbers, because you're not used to it, Good technique, this is. Six, well done. Seven, brilliant. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Hey, come on, get up. Nine, come on, last one. Ten, well done, Dick. Get up. In this instance here, young John isn't being so coordinated. He's throwing the ball back and then coming up after it instead of coming up all in one movement. Ten, well done. Just one point there, John. Explaining to John here. He's throwing it from his shoulders and staying down there instead of getting the coordination of throwing it and coming up. You're fighting to get up. It should be a nice fluent action where you're going. We call these our agilities, which we do every time. OK, we're working. We'll just do a dozen of each. We don't, we'd normally do 20, but we'll, we'll start with tw a dozen today. Just get your wind back. Have a breather for a couple of minutes. OK, we're going to go through ones, for those that don't know, we're going to go through one series of dozens. We're first to service throwing you there, throwing it back. OK, that's one lot. The next lot is a dozen where you're catching it, throwing it back, doing those. Third lot is then side to side. Yeah, and the fourth one is where you're on your knees, where you're throwing it down there, throwing it back, and the other side. You'd understand these, you'd understand them. Hands, always back to our hands. Well done, that's it, that's it. Have your legs are bent a bit, be a bit looser. That's it. Be a bit looser. Go on. Off you go. We're doing 12. Well done, John. That's it. You've got, the, you've got the right technique. Now we need to speed you up a bit. Everything we do for the first time, I'm just concentrating on your technique first. But then the more we do it, then you start speeding up and the server can do it. We're working those stomachs, which is important. Sit up first, Tracy, to start with. No, throw them down. Throw them downwards. That way down there. That's it. Just remember he's close to over her head. That's it. Four. Nice and firm. Go on. No, hold it. Just a minute. Just stop a minute. Let's get it right. OK, I'll give you the service. Let's go. Tracy, back. One. OK. Yes, two. That's better. Now I'm pushing you back. Three. Four. Well done. Five. Well done. Six. Well done. Seven. Eight. To my turn. Nine. Hey, come on. You're going to... Two more. Ready? That's it. Well done. It's just a... Just remember we're close. It's just a quick movement. Backwards and forwards. OK? Yeah, that's why the service is always important, not only from the goalkeeper, obviously the server's got to have the right service. Sit up first, Gary. OK, now you're going back and throw it as you come back. Two, come right up. Three, four, five. Go back, OK, another one. Sit up, go back. That's it, good rhythm. Don't have to kill me when you come up. Yes, six, he is. Eight, nine, let yourself go. Ten, two to go. Eleven. 12. Well done, girl. That's good, guys. Well done. That's good. Good stomach. That's good for your stomach. The second one, if you're not used to doing this, it takes you a while to pick it up, but we'll give it a go. Neville demonstrate with Jace. Okay, it's called our rowing one. Just do a quick dozen. Okay, keep your legs off the ground, body backward and knees up to the chest. Well done. Well done. OK, Jace, give him a demonstration there. So all of this, little demonstration here, stay out first, and as they do... Oh, I mustn't do that one. You come up, come up, and then you throw it back. Up, back. Go on, and it's going to be quicker. Throw it quicker. Throw it quicker. Quicker. Yeah, it's going to be as quick as you can. OK? It's got to be quick as you slow up, as Neville says. You've got to be quick as you get to... Push, yeah, push back straight away. But you still cut, catch it. Don't pat it back, catch it. Start down there. OK, do it. You'll be able to do it. OK, off you go. Back. Take your body back. No, no. You're there, you're coming up, back. Up, back, up, back. Up. I'm not good on the side now. OK? So you're taking your body up, right back, up, right back, up, right back. Do it without the ball first. Do it without the ball first. Get, bring your legs up as well. That's it. Go on, you've got to be coordinated. 
Now you haven't got the coordination. Your legs are going to go and your stomach's going to go. Tracy, you have a go at it. Sit down. Sit down, like that. Right? That's all it is. It's a rowing action. It's like you see them on the machines. It's amazing how youngsters so nice. can't... Youngsters can't hey. It's funny. No disrespect yeah. to you, John. Easy. You find youngsters, oh, when oh. they first do it, find it very difficult to pick up. But they do. Here, tell you. What are you like when you start it? What are you like now? <laughs> Brilliant now. Is he? Now, the next one is side to side going over. Oh. Just do one server. We won't do the two ball oh, going. We'll just have the one ball going. Just do a dozen. Over his shoulder. He's got to be over his shoulder, and he's got to twist. Notice he's twisting. He's not just throwing the arms out. He's actually twisting. Brilliant, Nev. And notice he's doing it quick. I'm not worried about the speed if you're doing it for the first time. Just get the quality right, the technique right. Jace is quick at it as well. Well done, Jace. Come off. You're holding back. Your weight's holding your back. You can't go too far forward and you look rigid. So you've got to be nice and loose all the time. There. Let your body there. go, John. Let, Let your body go the whole way. Like I'm saying when you're diving, don't go half hearted. Go all the way. And then by rhythm, you come back quicker. Okay? Someone want to serve Tracy there? Side to side. Get closer to the edge. Go. That's it, that's it. Downwards. Very important points here when we're doing these agilities is we're concentrating on the handling, one touch, the agility, we're twisting and turning, and of course the coordination so that we're getting a nice rhythm, a nice flowing action all the time. And I keep stressing again, the service has got to be good from both parties. Two, three, four. Well done, Tracy. That's good. That'll do you. Yes. Notice he stays forward, get the ball in front of him, not going backwards. Keep the body line sideways. Well done, Nev. One touch all the time. Notice he's not banging the ball on the ground either. See, Gaz, keep the ball off the ground. Then he doesn't lose control of it. Well done. Brilliant, well Nev. Well done. Cheers, Brilliant. colleague. Just watch Jace again. And then we... Good tempo. Good tempo there. Keep it going. Hey. It's a word these northerners don't understand, things like Dick tempo and shorties, and yeah. Well done, Jace. Good stuff. Not so heavy on the bar. Well done. How many have you done? Twelve? OK, give it a go there, John. To your right, OK? Here again, stretch those arms out and come up right oh, under him. Give him time to get up there, Tracy. He's not doing it as fast as the other. I'd rather just get the technique. Got well done, John. Relax a bit. Good lad, relax a bit. Good, John, that's a better technique, good. On your roof. Well done, well done. You're still bringing the ball slightly into the sun there and you bring it back. Try and keep it out wider, give you more strength. Okay. It's a good rock. Just show the Good, stay forward, Tracy, you're going back. Just stop there for a minute, stop there for a minute. You're going for, yeah, exactly. We've got to try and keep the ball all the time in front of us there. The moment we go back, we end up, why I say that, I'll do it just on the right side. If we start going back, what happens then? Our legs come like that now. If we're going to get up for a second shot, we struggle to get up, don't we? Whereas if we stay sideways and we knock a ball out, boom, I'm there ready for the second shot. So we've got to stay and get the ball in front slightly of the body line, OK? Not going backwards. Then you keep your shape, you keep your rhythm, and you can get up quicker. Better. Don't do it so far. That's it. I don't mind about speed. Not worried about speed. I just want the technique first. Speed comes later. Well done, Tracy. Good. That's much better. See the difference? You're up quick. Don't let those knees come in front of you. How many has she done, John? Nine. Four to go. Ten. He'll... That, that'll do you. Well done, Tracy. Good. See the difference? You're flowing more there. Keeping sideways. One. Now we go into another diving exercise, now starting standing up. Footwork's involved here. Just diving, throwing back, getting up quick. A bit of obviously a lot more movement here. OK, Jace, for me, let's go. One. Yes. Two. Well done. On, Jace. Well played. Oh, quality. Well done. Right, oh, he's testing you now. She's t well done. See, there's not that thumping of the ball. It's either keep your hand underneath or even keep the ball in the air. Yes, let's go, Digger. Come on, Digger. 
Well done. On, Two. Yeah. Three. Well done, Digger. Keep it going. Well done. She's, she's really touching you. Well done, Digger. Well done, Dig. There we go. Off you go. Good shot servicing. One. Doing now two. we're moving on to a series of reflex Three. drills where the ball is being played close in. Three. Important things here are keeping our shape, attacking the ball, and making sure we get everything behind the ball. Looking for speed here, and obviously reflexes. The more we work on these close in drills, the quicker we will react to point blank shots. Yes, Dick. Last one. Brilliant. Get up quick. Well done. If they're coming into the chest, bring them in there. Yeah, that saves you. Then it's not going to get away. You're sort of just sort of doing, trying to snatch at it. Anything in there, put in there. Otherwise, if it's anywhere else, it's the hands either side. OK, ready? Off you go. One. Two. Good hands. Just watch how he does it. Three. Well done, Nev. Cheers, colleague. Four. Five. Well done, Nev. Get up again. Yeah. Six. Seven. Well done, Nev. Well down. Eight. Cheers, Play, Nev. Well done. Cheers, mate. Two to go. Nine. Cheers, Last one, Nev. Finish on a save. Oh, oh that's okay. best. OK, guys, just pay attention here. Next one, just a close-in one, just to get the body weight coming forward again. You can just demonstrate it, OK? You're going to right and left, side to side. Yes, and you're front and back. So just roll there, side foot. One more. OK, and hold it there. That's all you're doing. Don't need to come forward so much if you can hold your ground, OK? When you're doing it and you're down there, just throw it back fairly slowly, because if you throw it back too quick, the ball's going to come in too quick and you haven't had a chance to get up on your feet. So it's down there, roll it back slowly. You get up quick and you're ready to go again on the other side, OK? OK, Nev? Yes, you're doing the 10 first. OK? Here again, roll it back fairly slow. To your right, let's go. One. Two. Well done, Nev. Three. Good stuff. Try and roll it back. Four. That's it. Don't bounce it. Five. Six. Good touch. Let's have another ball, please. Yes, Nev. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Well played. Great stuff. Tracy. OK. I'll give you time to get up. Keep forward all the time. You shouldn't be going backwards. You should be getting the ball at the side. Try and stay forward. OK, trace to your right. One. Roll it back. That's it. Two. Good. Well done. Three. My service is four. Not so fast back. Give you time to get up. Five. Six. Well done, Tracy. Roll it back. Roll it back a bit slower. Seven. Yes. Eight. Well done. Nine. Ten. Well done, Tracy. Well done. Here again, you can up the tempo accordingly. If you see the keeper's going faster, once you get used to it, you can go faster, slower, whatever. OK, John, get down there, roll it back slowly. That's it, one, two. Similar thing now we're going to do, only this time it's not going to be alternate. So I wait till you get up and set. It could go the same way. So you set yourself. It could be there for three or four. You just set yourself, go down. And each time I will stop it first before I hit the ball back in. Demonstration, it's the same thing, so you don't need to demonstrate, guys, do we? We're going straight into it. Doing ten. <laughs> okay, ready? Let's go. I'll stop it each time. One. You can roll out as fast as you like now. Two. Well done, Nev. Three. Good stuff. Keep it going. Four. Keep it going. Five. Well done, Nev. Six. Seven. Well played. Eight. Well done. Don't go early at all. Nine. 10, brilliant. Well done, Nev. See that? Sharp. You can throw it back as firm as you like. Now, I'm going to stop it each time, so that gives you time to adjust. OK, Jace, let's go. One. Two. Well played. Three. Four. Well done, Jason. Five. Good stuff. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Brilliant. Ten, well done. Well done, Jace. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so you
To keep the interest going on these reflex drills, we have now moved into the goal area, but only using a small part of the goal. Nice and firm with the serves. Good touch. Go for a rink. Get another ball, Ed, John. As soon as you've lost the ball, son, get hold of it. And off we go. Throw it in firmer and lower. Nice and zip it in. Zip it in. Good touch, never. Anything knocks out. Well done. Down a bit, John. Down a bit, John. Good touch. Let's take off. Good touch, Nev. Good touch. Good touch, Nev. Wait till he's ready. Well done. Half a dozen more. Good hands, Nev. Well played. No, sight or target. A couple more. Well done, Nev. OK, hold it there. Change over. You go, Jace. I'll do the serve. Tracy, do you want to do some serve in there? Just get yourself loosened up. I'll do the volleys. Here again, for the young people, anything you drop there, get after it. If you knock it out there, just turn and face it as if you would in a game, OK? Anything that's realistic. Right, four, left. Doesn't really matter. Just sting it in. OK? Nice and firm with the throws. OK, Tracy. Nice and firm. Well done, Jace. Good stuff. Nice and firm with the serves. Good touch. Well done. Nice and firm. Let's keep it going. Get the momentum going here. Well done, Jace. Good hands. Good hands. Well played. Good hands, Jace. Bit firmer with the throws. Throw them as hard as you like. The harder you put them in, the quicker the ball's going to come in for the keeper. Good hands, Jace. Wrong side. Well done, Jace. Well done. Keep it going. Let's speed it up a bit, yes. Good touch, Jace. And up and face. And if it you knock out, four more. Good stretch. Good touch, Jace. And again, face it. Last two. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry. Let's get them out of the way. Well done. Last one, Jace. It's got to be a save. OK, change over. Don't forget, any rebounds, I want you looking, at least looking at it, rather than just leaving it. OK, Tracy, from you. Nice and firm with the serves. Well done. Wait till he's ready. OK, guys. That's it, Trace. That's OK. For an extension of this drill, we are now standing up using the whole of the goal, which incorporates a lot more footwork and quicker reactions all round. Good pick up. Well done. Don't we get any rebounds, Ned. We're going to put back in. And again, rebounds. OK, OK. Good finish. Any rebounds that come out, look for the second ball. Well done. Good stretch. Unlucky. Good effort. Great save, Ned. Well done. Good reactions. Well played. Well done, Nev. Keep it going. OK. Savable. John, get some balls for, for Digger, will you, please? Good pick up, Nev. Three more. Well done. Great save. Last couple. And the last one. Got to be a save. OK, that'll do you. Well done. OK, here we go. Come on now. Nice and alert. Keep them down a bit. Oh, don't be caught by the miss hit. Well done, Joe. Well done, Digger. Go! Good touch. Wait till he's ready. Down. Just remember, forwards aren't expected to miss from this distance. If one goes in, you've got no chance. Fine. Cheers, Chase. Just make it as difficult as possible. On your toes, Digger. On your toes. Let's get the service right. Can we get some balls to Tracy, please? Get it. Well done, Digger. Get it! <laughs> yeah, relax on it, relax. Well done, Dig. Well, Dig. Wasn't ready. It's Chase. Well done, and again, let's get ready. Here we go. Sure. Step back a bit, John. Step back a bit. I don't want you in his line of vision. Keep it down, Tracy. Well done, Digger. Quite Chase. I didn't know that step. Well taken. Well, Good hands. Get yourself set again. And again. Ginge. Good save. Well done. <laughs> Great reactions. Last two. Quality drive. And the last one. OK, change over. Let's get the balls in first, guys.
now relating all of these reflex exercises to a match situation for balls crossed in from the byline, keeping your shape and balance in case of a near post shot. Come back, set yourself, and you just, you just got to react. The ball's flying in 100 mile an hour, whatever. You just got to react, OK? Make yourself as big as possible. Watch this one, Gaz. OK, we're doing 10. Wait till he touches the post each time. Let's go. One, well done. Two, good effort, Nev. It's all right, mate, you work here. Three, well done. Yes, four, well played. Five, good effort, Nev. Six, well done, get up again. Seven, good cover, no goal. Eight. Nine, good save, Nev, last one. Yes, on yourself, well done. Well played, have a breather. Well done, Nev. Well done, mate. Thank you, son. Dig it if you can serve there. Get the balls out the net. Have you can do those again. Well covered. Touch the post, Trace, and go again. As soon as you touch the post, back you go. Good save. Two. And again. Three. Good hands. Four. Well done. Five. Hopefully you go again. Six. Well played. Seven. Get up and face it. Well done, Tracy. Touch the post. Eight, and again. Just come across your line more. Nine, well done, and the last one. Ten. Well done. Well done. All right, go! Now let us stretch those bodies. Here we are working on quickness of feet for speed across goal for an extended dive at the far post. Two to go, Nev. Go! Five, and the last one. Well done, Nev. Brilliant. Go! Brilliant. Well done. Brilliant touch. OK, Jace. Go! Well done. One. If you get the ball, throw it back. Go! Two. Well done, Jace. Keep it going. Go! Three. Well done, Jace. Great touch. Go! Four, well done. Last two. Go! Five, and the last one. Tester for this one. Come on, the last one. Go, Jace! Great touch. Well done. OK, Tracy. Go! One. Got to get into a dive. OK. Go! Good stretch. Good effort. Two. I'll give you a chance. Really stretch. Go! Come on, Trace, dive! Well done. Three, well done. You kept it out of that small goal. That's what we want. Three. Go! Come on, Trace, go for it. Four. Well done, Tracy. Keep it going. Go! Here we go. Stretch. Good effort. Five. Well, last one. Make the goal smaller. Go! Well done. Six. Well done, Tracy. Well done. Like with any of them, when you do that on a regular basis, you get to know the speed and everything it's else, well. and leg power. Yeah, you've got to push off. That's right. And also, it's not the best of condition to do it. It's very sandy in there. Yeah. OK, John, I want you attacking it. Don't be too close to your post. Just imagine it's coming from the byline there, and you don't want to be stuck in here, do you? Because if a ball's whipped in there, you're stuck. Just be arm's length apart, and then have your hands ready. Don't... Go! Let's go. Unlucky, no jump. Try and spring. Two. Go! Let's go. Good effort. Three. Go! Come on, let's go. Well done. Knock it out firmer. Four. Last one. Go! Let's go for it. Well done. Well done. You're not, you're not springing enough, John. All you're doing is falling. You're getting in, you're just sort of... What you've got to do is get there and leap. Notice with Neville and Jason, they're leaping. And that's not what you're doing. You're just falling. You're turning, you're turning, and you're just going like that. You're falling. You've got to learn to turn and then take off, explode. This leg's got to come up to help you get the stretch. OK? As you get older, you'll get the power to do that. Just same with Tracy. Tracy didn't get the power to, to extend herself. You've just got to learn to take up and stretch. And in stretching, this leg's got to come up. Otherwise, if you fall, it's lagging behind you again. OK, it's hard work, that.
Now we are working on both sides of the goal. Well done then. Two. Let's go. When he gets to oh, three. Well done, Nev. Four. Well done. Last two. Five. Last one, Nev. Good touch. Superb. Well done. Brilliant, Nev. Brilliant. Great service, Jace. Digger. On the right there. OK, Jace, go! Sorry about that. The service is poor. Two. Just get my range. Three. Well done. Great effort. Four. OK, get up. Well done. Rebounds. All right, dig. Well done. Put it in that far corner. OK, Digger. Go! Good touch. Unlucky. Well done, Digger. Well done. Two. Yes. Good side. Three. Get let's make range, sure now. we go for any guys. shot that is on target. Oh, come on, let's Don't be three. lazy. Five, get hold of them. Don't let them bounce off. Five, six, well done. Well done. OK, go. Nice and quick. Well done. That's good. Well done, John. Keep moving. Go for it. Bit slow with the dive. Let's see you diving. Let's go. Well done. Oh, and again, let's get up. Let's go to the next one. Cut across. Well done, John. And the last one, get across. OK, well covered. Well covered. Well done. One. Wait till he's ready. Situation here is keep her on the ground right, no. after deflecting the ball and reacting to follow up shots. Go! Well done. Three. Well done. Two to go, Nev. Go! Well taken. Good strike, unlucky. Hands out in front of you. Go! Well done, Digger. Stretch your arms out. Helps you to get up more. Dive! Good side, well done. Go! Oh, get it! Three. Go on. Go on, Digger, let's go for it. Come Make on, the effort. Go! Well done, last one. Go! Dive! OK. Time again, Trace. Go for anything on target. Get into the habit of attacking everything. Go! Sorry, Christ. Oh, Pete. Oh, Wait the oh, effort. Pete. Let's go. Go for it. Well done. Well, Come on, Tracy. Well played. Well, well done. Go. Last two. Two to go, Tracy. Go! Come on, Trace. Sorry. Oh, he's trying to dump me in, isn't he? One to go. That was. Bad ball from me, sorry. Let's go, Ooh. last one. Dive! Oh! oh. Not when you dive. Well done. You're right, actually. You're Your legs. You know, you're not springing. When you spring, when you're taking you need this leg to come over to give you the power. Do you know what I mean? Well, and then you've got great... What you're doing is you're just diving yeah, with a falling dive. Well, you're sort of just going like that, whereas, you know, when you get more power in your spring, you spring in your, in your push off, you'll be able to get greater distance. And you'd get those, because you swing your hand out and you'd get there. You just need more power in your legs, which obviously you're not going to get as great as a, as a man. He'll get it as he gets older. There's no doubt about it. OK, can we have the balls out the net, please? Yes, no. Brilliant touch. Four. Top arm. Well done. If you can get two hands over easy like Ned did, then get it. Last one. Brilliant touch. And the next one in. Just six each. See, if, if he goes with his right arm and he makes a safe fine, no one's going to say anything, but you'll find 
that you will get greater ones when it's really buried in the corner that you've got to use that arm. He's made a save there with his left hand where he's done well because he's got tremendous leaping power, but some people might not be able to, so they've got to use that top arm for the extra stretch. OK, Jace, right first. Let's go. Sorry, Jace, well covered. Great touch, well done. Two. Go. Here, Jason is achieving Great what we set Here, out to do. Get into balls Brilliant in the top tackle. corner using the top arm. Yes, Jace. Four, well done, well held. Five. Go, Jace. Good touch. Last one, Jace. Good touch, six. Brilliant example there, that top arm coming over. OK, go for a ring. Here a we bit go. of go pressure training it. here. A three-sided goal Knock for the keeper out. to move quickly through each one, Good making a save and moving on to the next. An important point, though, is to make sure the goalkeeper is set before you hit the shot. And the last one. Well done, and that'll do you. Next one in. If I can have a server over there, please. OK, Jace. Here we go. Good touch. Well done. One. Doing six saves. Two. Move quick between the goals. Well done, Jace. Three. Get back quick. Four. Great touch. Five. And the last one. Well done. Hit them as hard as you like when you're doing it. Here we go. Unlucky, get up quick, go to your right. This is a good exercise for whatever level you are at, because the aim is to get set, keep your shape, relax and make the correct dive sideways. The problem with Gary is he is too rigid and the ball is bouncing off him. But then that is what these exercises are all about, learning and improving. You're, you're tense, you're too tense, relax. Hand, yeah, that's, that's OK, you've got the right idea, it's just it's lack of practice. Yeah. All it is, is just trying to relax. Instead of testing his chest out, just relax it, just absorb it all. OK? Now, you've got to expect the ball any time, so you've got to be alert to anything. From the moment it's in play, you've got to be alert to the ball, OK? Don't be caught flat footing, I want you going for everything. OK, either foot, yeah, just down. Well done, Nev. Wait till he's ready. OK, great, get it. Any rebounds, you or I can put in big, OK? Well done, Jace. That's what I want. Great hands, well played. Down a bit, off target. Up while he's down a bit, you bugs. Hey, down there. I'm not supposed to jump for them. Good touch, and again, Jace. Well played. Good touch, Neville, well done. Well done, Nev. Good touch. On your toes, be on your toes. It's got to be lower. That's it, don't put them in low. Well done. Great reactions. Just wide, well covered. Down, great. Rebounds. Rebounds. Yeah. Get up. Rebounds. Yes, well done. Anything that comes out, anyone can play it in, all right? Yes! I beat him at last. Keep it going. Sorry. Keep going, Dig. Help him there, John, if you can, with balls. Well done, Jace. Well done. Well done, Jace. Keep it going. Good touch. Four more. Well played. Great save. Well done, Jace. Good touch. Well done. The last two. Well done there. Brilliant. Last one. Oh, well done. OK. Get the balls all in, please. People not doing anything. You can see the techniques that you've got to learn there. It drop in there. You're sort of, you're trying, what you did there, once you try to go like that, and it's, you can't do that, with a ball that's whipped in there, it's got to be an extension of your arm and just drop in. It's got to be one of those sort of things, yeah? You're sort of trying to dive there, and you can't do that. With balls close, yeah. Oh, I do, well, Neville does a lot with his feet, so that's great. Anything in and around the legs there, so it's either going to be one of those sort of things, 
or just get your foot in there, because a save with your foot is still a save. You know, I'm not averse to that. People say, oh, he's saving with your feet, that's bad goalkeeping. And it's not. If you make a save, point blank in, if you make a save there, it's good. That's right. Yeah. So you react with it, but make sure, as I was saying to John there, make sure it's a positive kick, not just a sort of a touch where it goes straight back to him and he goes, thank you very much, and puts it in there. 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 Well, you will go back there. Well done. Getting better, John. Just got to learn still to come forward, but that takes time. Well done. Starting from Jason on your... You can see where we are each time. Jason's going first. OK, we're just striking him in. No, in and around him, not straight at him, in and around him. There are many in situations in a game where the keeper sees the ball shot. late. Here, he tunes turn. himself into a shout from the server for a quick turn and save. From me. Points to make are to be on your toes and get sight of the ball as quickly as possible so you can attack it. It's not too hard, give me... That's OK. Well done. Yeah. Oh, Good touch, Nev. Well done. Wait till he's ready. Back to Jace again. Go for a cut and go for it twice. Well down. Turn! Well done, Nev. Down! Oh. Saveable. Last two. Well done, don't go early. Well done, Nev. Jason. Get some balls in. Turn! Turn from me, Jace. Turn! Good digger. Oh, easy one. Hit the target. Oh, well covered. From the left, from the left there again. Well done, Jace. Turn. Well taken, Jace. Ooh, the target. But early with the shot, and he's waiting for it. I shouldn't be waiting. That's it. As soon as he turns, hit it in. Well done, Jace. Brilliant. So you're picking the ball up very late. That's what it should be. Don't give him too much time to turn. Others, just be a nuisance in here. OK, let's go. Go on, Jace. Oh, quality. Keep up. Well done, I feel one of the most important parts of goalkeeping is coping with crosses. Don't be a Dracula. I spend a lot of time on this aspect. Important points to remember are be off your line slightly, two to three yards, face the ball, get your timing right where you are catching the ball at its highest point, and be decisive and positive in your decision to attack the ball. Also to call loud and early when you are coming for the ball, if you are, and to shout away if you are not. Your defenders need to know what you are doing. Communicate and be confident. Ball away. You're too late. Quality, Edda. Timing's wrong. What up, Nev? You're going to get that. You've got to get that. Go through the ball there. That was a punch was on there, Digger. Go on, Callum. Don't come too early. Don't come too early. The idea is to... Come late, but jump early. So hold your ground with the high ones only, that is. Come late, but jump early. Go on, Callum, go Away! Oh, you mate. Oh, there you go, you could have come for that. Yeah, two mines there, you could have come for that. Well done, good stretch, and a call. Get yourself composed, get yourself right. Feel confident. Good to have people of opposition against you there, make it more realistic. Well done, Digger. Good touch, positive there, well done. On your toes. 
So why do you need to change? And I'm saying for a corner, I would face here. If it's across from Alan out there, I'd slightly turn face onwards there. Now, I'm not saying you've got to do this, but I'm saying try it because I think that's the better technique. Yeah? Certainly some people like to turn slightly on what they find if that's happier. But certainly don't turn sideways on there. And the other main thing I just said is there is never ever any need to be on your goal lines except for when you're facing the penalty. The rest of the time you should be off your line here facing it because then it gives you the option if, because people will come then and stand in front of you and all the rest of it. Now if you're hemmed in there, Nev, if you come and stand in front of me, which happens at corners or crosses, yeah? Now I'm struggling. I can only go out there. I can't come in here because I'm going into my goal. Whereas if you're off your line to start with here and someone does stand in front of you, you've got the options of coming around him there or cutting inside him there. Okay. And also, by being off your line and not being too close to the near post, you've got the options, if the ball's knocked out there, you're coming out here and you've got greater distance to cover because you're two or three yards closer to it. OK? Yeah. But obviously, if it's not your ball, if it's knocked over along there, then all you do is turn and face it. One thing... I'm constantly being told that coaches teach kids or grown-ups, whatever, they say their coaches tell them to face that way because they want to see what's going on out there. And I say, well, I've sod what's going on out there. I don't want to know about that. Where's the danger? The danger's in here. That's the shortest route. The danger's in here. So I've got to be in a position where, yes, I can get there quickly to attack it. If it does go long out there, then all I do is adjust my body and I'm facing still. OK? But by being off your line, you've got a greater distance of area to cover and you are quicker to get into the danger ball into your near post. Right. OK? Yeah. Try that, Karen. See how you feel. OK, lads? I hope you have enjoyed this video and will benefit from its many coaching points and drills. Now it is your turn to put this into practice and see how you can improve, which I'm sure you will. We have enjoyed putting together this video and hopefully it shows as nothing beats a great save.